the warrior ethos, beyond physical prowess. In ancient Far Eastern traditions, the concept of a warrior transcended mere physical skill or martial prowess. It encompassed a broader, more profound set of values. The true warrior was akin to a knight errant, driven not just by the pursuit of personal glory or skill, but by deeper principles of justice and morality. This archetype sought to defend the weak, the poor, and the defenseless, embodying the virtues of a hero who fights for more than just personal gain. The contrast, soldiers and modern professionals. In stark contrast, the role of a soldier, both historically and in some interpretations of modern corporate professionals, can be seen as less noble. Such roles were are typically defined by objectives of conquest or career advancement, prioritizing success and personal or organizational goals over moral or ethical considerations. In this view, the soldier or the modern professional is often seen as a tool used to achieve the ambitions of those in power, whether on the battlefield or in the boardroom. The modern society challenge, self-centered goals versus altruism. Today's society often mirrors these archetypes. Many individuals in organizations prioritize personal advancement, security, and social approval. Their efforts, while diligent, are frequently aimed at self-promotion or material success rather than serving customers, patients, or society at large. This approach, while not inherently wrong, misses the opportunity to pursue a higher calling or purpose. Embracing the wisdom warrior in today's world. To be a wisdom warrior in contemporary society means to blend the ancient ethos of the true warrior with the complexities of modern life. It involves championing just causes. Like the knights errant, modern warriors must seek to protect and uplift those who are less fortunate. This could mean advocating for social justice, volunteering for charitable causes, or simply standing up for what is right in our daily lives. Pursuing excellence with integrity. Mastery in one's field is commendable, but it should be pursued with integrity and ethical considerations. The modern warrior excels not only in skill but in character. Empathy and compassion. A key aspect of the warrior ethos is the ability to empathize with those in need and to use one's strength and skills for their benefit. Balance between personal and greater good. While personal advancement is a natural goal, it should be balanced with efforts that contribute to the greater good of society. Moral leadership. In positions of power or influence, embodying the warrior spirit means leading with morality and justice, prioritizing the well-being of others over personal gain. Balancing honor with success in a hierarchical world. It's a common belief that achieving honor and success in a modern, hierarchical and bureaucratic society at the same time is overly optimistic. Indeed, it's frequently observed that those who resist conforming to organizational norms often face challenges in advancing their careers. However, there's a nuanced approach to this challenge. The strategy of excellence, earning recognition. The key is not just to comply with the rules but to excel within them. In a bureaucratic environment, Recognition and respect are often seen as hard-earned currencies. The strategy here is not to compel or force acknowledgement through sheer performance but to cultivate it through consistent excellence and integrity. The art of overperforming with purpose. Overperforming in this context does not mean simply outworking others or being the most noticeable in the room. It's about adding substantial value in a way that aligns with both personal values and organizational goals. It's demonstrating excellence that's rooted in a deep understanding of one's role and how it contributes to the larger picture. Making promotion a natural outcome, not a forced decision. By excelling in a way that's genuinely beneficial to the organization, promotion becomes a natural outcome rather than a forced decision for the employer. This approach turns the traditional idea of forcing recognition on its head. Instead, it encourages a path where one's contributions are so valuable and aligned with organizational success that advancement becomes an obvious step for the employer. Harmonizing personal values with organizational success. In sum, thriving in a bureaucratic society with honor and success is about finding the delicate balance between personal values and organizational needs. It's about demonstrating excellence in a way that naturally garners recognition and respect 
leading to advancement that feels both deserved and aligned with one's principles. This approach not only fosters personal growth but also contributes positively to the organization, creating a win-win scenario in the bureaucratic landscape.